Hi everybody, my name is Jaden. I'm Eli. I'm Jason. I'm Ken. And we are the Yahoo and the Tour YouTube channel. And we thank you very much for hanging out with us. We thank you very much for watching this. And your family is our family. Your Our family is your family. We truly love you guys all. And we thank you guys. Thank everybody on YouTube. We thank everybody on Rumble. We thank uh, the very ghost town over on Odyssey. Um, and if you guys are watching in the future on Odyssey, it is a ghost town over there. But Odyssey will probably be the last guy standing when uh, the powers that be censor about just everything, which they already have and they already done. Um, so far, Taurus stuff hasn't been censored, um, unlike the rest of the events of 2019 and 2020 that have been censored pretty much off of the Internet. <clears throat> all right. So we are into um, actually how are you guys doing? First of all, good. good. We got a lot of people out there. They're praying for you guys. And uh, Cage, you doing all right? Yeah. You sure? He doesn't look very good. But, Jade, you look, you're looking better. I'm feeling better. You guys aren't hacking and wheezing. Eli? I think my sickness is gone. His sickness is gone, so uh, you were the first to get it. Uh, the last, they're the first to recover. Um, my alpha male immune system didn't really uh, get too plagued with it. I got a sore throat for maybe about five minutes, and then it went away. Eli, you're shaking your head. It's not an alpha. It's not an alpha. <laughs> Tell me about my, my alpha immune system, please. Uh, so basically, he said he won't get sick because he has a uh, beta immune system. Uh, if he doesn't have a beta immune system, but he got <laughs> sick, he had a beta immune system. Uh, I didn't get really sick, though. I didn't end up owned like you guys, though. You that, that was the joke. Is uh, I, I told him that uh, I, I had an alpha immune system, and I'm not going to be a beta. And, uh, <laughs> and I got a little sick, so I had to eat my words a little bit, or at least the kids are trying to make me eat my words. But... That's okay. <clears throat> Here we go. Second uh, book of Adam Akawa, 19. This is going to be real short because we're not going to get into the next chapter. So we're only going to be doing this one and we'll discuss this. Um, and then we'll call this one a short. So let's roll. Then Elohim revealed to him. And so who, who's him? Who, what are we talking I about? Think right? Jared, I think yeah, it's, it's Jared. Yeah, it's Jared. It's Jared is who we're talking about right here. Then Elohim revealed to him again the promise he had made to Adam. He explained to him the 5,500 years and revealed unto him the mystery of his coming upon the earth. And Elohim said to Yared, As to that fire that which thou hast taken from the altar to light the lamp withal, let it abide with you to light the light to the bodies. Give light to the bodies. And let it not come out of the cave until the body of Adam comes out of it. So the thing I want to note here is that fire back in the day, you like, they didn't know how to make fires. They couldn't start fires yet. The fires came down on the altar. It was like fire before uh, the fallen came down and taught us like how to make weapons, how to beautify ourselves, how to start fires. We didn't know that stuff. We didn't. We were more peaceful people. Yeah. And the fires would be especially from Elohim. Like if it, our offering is accepted, the fire would come upon it. If it wasn't, we'd get no fire from Elohim. Yeah, and um, that's one thing here is um, the boys know how to make fire with flint and steel. But as far as um, if you were too needing to create a fire out of nothing, it's going to be much harder. Um, you know, we have the uh, the older, uh, I don't know if it's called the Indian methods or whatnot, where you can take a couple sticks and you can uh, make a bow with it. But even then, um, I don't know if they were, they would have to sit there and work and work and work and work. It's really hard to make fire out of yeah, nothing. Fire was supposed to be a special thing that only y'all had power to. We weren't supposed to ever know like how to make fire. Yeah, well, and you could also see that the power of Hasatan, he was able to make fire, right. right? And so Satan has a lot of powers and a lot of stuff that our creator has given to him and has allowed him to wield. All right, so let's control. Continue on here. Uh, three, but O Yared, take care of the fire that it burn bright in the lamp. Neither go thou again out of the cave until thou receiveth an order through a vision and not an apparition when the seen by thee. Then command again thy people not to hold intercourse with the children of Cain, not to learn their ways, for I am Elohim who loves not hatred and works who loves not hatred and works of iniquity. So at this point, um, I think the fallen come upon the earth and they have basically polluted the sea and basically Cain's people are polluted now. He's like, don't go with that, hang out with Cain. You'll be polluted. Don't do their wicked deeds because they're doing evil things. They're learning from the fallen. And now there's giants, and their seed is completely corrupted. Yeah. And he's like, if you go with them, you're going to be corrupted as well. So they like, stay away from them. Because basically Jared's line, Seth's line, is a pure line compared to Cain's, where he's all corrupted with the Absolutely. fallen DNA. Yeah, fallen DNA, as well as people that are not Torah keepers. And they, they, um, they do not care about the laws of our Creator. They do not care about our Creator. And they're down there partying it up like it's uh, 1999 or something. Okay, here we go. Um, Elohim also gave many other commandments to Yared and blessed him and then withdrew his word from him. 
So it kind of shows that he knows the Torah, right? Because he gave him the commands. He gave him commandments. That's the thing is everybody had the commandments, right? Right. And it's like before they was written down, everybody knew what the Torah was. They knew what was right. They knew what was wrong. They knew how to sacrifice. They knew what was clean and unclean. Yeah. And people will say, oh, Jason, uh, you're not one of the old people. You, you don't have Levites and priests to do sacrifices and things. You know, prior to um, ever having a Levitical priesthood, prior to ever having the sons of Jacob, Jacob, um, there was sacrifice. There was commandments. There were ways. And it is all about being obedient to our creator. From the front of the book to the end of the book, if you want to be a child of the Most High, you want to walk in the laws, statutes, and commandments of him. Before it was a law, the Levites were the ones who had to sacrifice and that you weren't, you weren't allowed to sacrifice People were doing sacrifices. We had Abraham sacrificing. We had Isaac sacrificing. We had all these people sacrificing because they knew what to do. But then it became a lot of the Levites, the ones who were ordained to do it. Yep, absolutely. Okay. Um, then Yer drew near with his children, took some of fire, and came down to the cave and lighted the lamp before the body of Adam. And he gave his people commandments as Elohim had told him to do. This sign happened to Yerid at the end of his 450th year, as did also many other wonders. We do not, we do not record. But we record only this one for shortness sake and in order not to lengthen our narrative. All right. And Yared continued to teach his children 80 years. But after that, they began to transgress the commandments he had given them and to do many things without his counsel. They began to go down from the Kadesh mountain one after another and to mix with the children of Cain in foul fellowships. So they broke the commands, you know, they, Jared was like helping them lead them. And like, it seems like no one took Jared's place after he left, like his son didn't like step up and become the leader of them and tell them what's right, like what's wrong. It's like we saw from like generation to generation now, each one would like take over and they'd become the advisor. It looks like they didn't happen here. Yeah, it definitely did not happen. So yeah, um, foul fellowships. That's, um, you know. That can be good. Well, you know, we saw that, you know, from, uh, I, I don't know a better way of putting it, but it was like, um, I think we were discussing it after we did a recording, is yesterday, or it was the day before, when the... Um, when, when Jared was tricked. The, yeah, when Jared was tricked and taken down off the mountain, it was like a whole bunch of swingers or something. It was like a whole bunch of people that were um, they're like, here, touch my wife, touch my daughter. And, you know, that is how they l were leading them astray by the vileness of the fornication and, and just, you know... Uh, it's crazy. Okay. Sin. Yeah, sin. The great road of sin. Okay. Nine. Now the reason for which the children of Yared went down the Kadesh mountain is this, that we will reveal unto you. Okay. And we're not going to reveal it today. We're going to leave you guys with a cliffhanger. Um, and it's pretty crazy. Um, next chapter, um, I don't think we'll finish this this week because tomorrow's chapter is pretty long. But we will go into why and what all of what what's why the lure of Canaan's children. All right, guys. So we hope that you guys are keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of our Creator. Our dogs know that when we're uh, we're kicking it off and they start talking and going crazy. So we love you guys very much. We hope that you have a wonderful day. Shalom. All right. Shalom. shalom.